I f- chapter 27. I found my fresh punk boy maze from the legendary fight at Uma's apartment. He was sitting there at the bottom of Pill Hill in his patched black jeans and chucks, enjoying his salsa verde curbside by the taco truck which often parked in front of the grocery outlet. You could wash down killer burritos with Mexican Coke and construction workers. Real sugar and glass went scarce when NAFTA took it south of the border. The outsourced slave labor for meager wages agreement. U.S. soda conglomerates packed up their operations and relocated to prop up their already thick bottom lines in the balance sheet. Americans were left with high fructose corn syrup and soda water bottled in poisonous plastic cancer by the sun containers and only corner stores in the bodegas stocked the original glass sugar and soda water with the unaccosted carcinogen of all these years, caramel color. I was amused. Jack had been pushed down Pill Hill by Jill. He didn't recognize me at first, but when I pushed my stunners up to my forehead and stood in front of him, he did. His eyes followed my legs up to my short shorts and said, Hey, aren't you the girl who pulled that chick off of me? That's me. Hey, thanks a lot. Sure, I'd do it again, too. You live around here? Kind of, sort of. He took off his sweatshirt, folded it, placed it on the curb next to him. Here, why don't you sit down? I'm sorry, I never got your name. Aim. That's a nice name. Care to share my burrito with me, he said. I sat down. He put the plate on the sidewalk between us, then took a plastic knife and began to cut off the folded end of the tortilla. I put my hand over his. Wait, that's too much. I guided the knife and replaced it. I was about to pull my hand back, but he swiftly and adeptly rolled his hand over mine, and we cut into the juicy occasion.